He wrote about the ordinary in an extraordinary way. Former Newsday columnist Ed Lowe was laid to rest today after losing his battle with cancer. Our Doug Geed was there as family and friends remember the man known as Long Island's favorite storyteller. What he had was a love of Long Island. He loved the people of Long Island. He was remembered as a kind man who had a keen insight into everyday life in Nassau and Suffolk. Relatives and longtime colleagues said goodbye to former Newsday columnist Ed Lowe. He was not mean-spirited, and he had no cause to be, because uh, the people he wrote about were people, you know, who were like him, enjoying life. All of us in this journalism business tend to chase the stories that are about the big, big names, the governors and the senators and so on, but Ed understood at a very deep level that there are a lot of stories involving just plain folks, and he was really good at finding them and writing them in a very simple, readable way. Right out of college, Ed worked as an English teacher in Lindenhurst schools, but only a couple of years later, he found his real calling here at Newsday, where he worked for more than three decades. Every one of these pieces, you will find real, living, breathing human beings in. Ellis Hennigan worked as a columnist with Lowe. Ed listened patiently and respectfully to all kind of people who never ended up in a newspaper or never ended up on television. And you know what? It turned out a lot of them had some really fascinating stuff to say. He was Newsday's true celebrity. Every time I went out on a story, when I was a reporter for many, many years, every time people would say, do you know Ed Lowe? Ed Lowe was just 64. He died of liver cancer. In Huntington, Doug Geed, News 12 Long Island.